know we haven't done a Cusco uncut in a while, in a long time actually, but you know, my, my whole life is basically uncut on these videos. I just cut the crap out of it. Top of the morning, friends and family. <laughs> I'm getting today started in the sauna. Woohoo! Hot minute since I jumped in here and been kind of slacking on food, and these are the first words to leave my throat this morning. <clears throat> I need to jump back into gear before I get too far out of gear because uh, it's, it's harder to get back into gear once you've jumped out of gear. But what's happening at home is the clown clutch is shedding out. There's one snake left that hasn't shed yet. And if for some reason that one doesn't shed by the time the day is over, well, we're still gonna we're still gonna show off the rest of them because uh, I'm getting impatient. I'm sure you're wondering what's going on over here, and I will tell you. I am checking on snakes that I offered food to last night, frozen thawed, and seeing if they took it. If they didn't, then I'm assist feeding them. It's a brutal process, not just brutal because uh, you know you do put the rodent into the snake's mouth manually but it's just it's painstaking it takes a long time it takes a lot of patience and man people say that i'm crazy for doing it and maybe they're right but i want to show you what i my, my process here so I'll, I'll go and check if the snake took it on their own a lot of them did actually strike and, and wrap which is a pretty sure sign they're going to eat some don't so i'll just set it down in there where they can go and get to it like carrion and then i'll come back and check and see who ate and who didn't if they did just take it on their own I'll have this card and I'll flip it horizontally and slide it back in there. If they didn't eat, then I'll put the rodent in their mouth, put them back in there and turn it diagonally like this. And if it's diagonal, it means I need to go back and check and see if they actually ate it. So let's check on this guy. He's the last one that... So I put the rodent in his mouth and we're hoping that he's just eating it on his own now. Huh. So fantastic. So he's just finishing getting that thing down. That's great. That's awesome. In the case of this right here, this means that even after assist feeding, uh, they refused feed. So I'll flip it upside down so I know to mark that one as a, as a refusal. Very painstaking process. It takes a lot of patience if you want to try and do something and go this route. But to me, it's worth it to all the people that are getting my snakes to know that they're going to be eating frozen thawed easily because if they're not eating frozen thawed, then the strongest feeders, in my opinion, eat frozen thawed. It's easier to get an animal to eat alive than frozen thawed, and it's less convenient for a lot of people. That's why I don't feed live, because it's not very convenient for me to have a bunch of live rodents around, and I don't breed rodents. Hillary won't let me breed rodents. There's all kinds of reasons I don't breed rodents. So frozen thawed is the way to go for me. And man, yeah, it, it takes a little time. But you guys are like, clown clutch, clown clutch right? Clown clutch. Let's see. Still waiting on that one to shit out. We'll give him a little more time. If he hasn't done it in like, I don't know, before the end of the day, then we'll, we'll just do it without him. Isn't that nice? Isn't that oh so nice? So, this here I thought might have been an ant heap firefly clown, but I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's just the pastel clown and that there's no fire in it. And I'm going to go ahead and show the whole clutch, even though this one hasn't shed out yet. And we'll touch back on this one, another one. And it's, it's not because I'm impatient. It's because I, I can't wait. I think we can agree on two things. This microphone right here looks ridiculous, but it also sounds great. <laughs> now, before I go grab the rest of the clutch, I want to talk about one thing. It's that which, which is in the title. That which, which is just in the title. <laughs> Choice. Choosing. I've talked about this before on the channel a while back, but I wanted to touch on it again because it's just something that's really powerful to hear, I think, is that choice. Choice. What you choose is anything. How you feel, what you do, it's always a choice. Me choosing to do videos every day going forward, it's a choice. Being busy is a choice. You don't have to do anything. You don't. I mean, you can get, people get in their heads sometimes that, oh, I've got to do this, or, you know, I've got to go to work, I have to do this, I have to go there, I have to do that. You don't have to do anything. It's all a choice. And the more you realize that that's a choice and that you're choosing to do all the things that you do, I think it empowers you and it makes you realize that you are the master of your own reality. Anything you want to have happen. And you might be saying, oh, Brian, no, I have to go to work. I, I got to support my family. I got to have a job. I need to go. And no, you don't. You should. You really should. And there's ways to do that. If you don't like your job, 
you can still go to that job, do what you need to do to be responsible and support your family or whatever you, it is you support by going to that job and still take the extra time to try and do something else that you enjoy more or maybe work towards getting into something that's not that job, something that you enjoy doing better that can also support your family. And it's not going to be easy. There's, it's definitely not easy. I'm not saying that at all. It's probably the harder thing in life is to make the choice that is not easy, even though you know it's going to be the right thing to do. So choice you can choose i want to repeat this over and over again because i think that it, it helps people to hear it you do have a choice in every single situation you're ever in in life always always have a choice just don't forget that and i think that it will definitely benefit your life all right so this one we're going to show you the boys first and then the girls and we got three boys and four girls one of them being that one that was in shed that i just showed you that's one of the girls right there so first off here is this boy a male clown and the great thing about this guy is I mean look at the amount of pattern on him almost even kind of has that yellow belly look even though there's absolutely no yellow belly in the pairing just the way that there's a lot of contrast between all the alien heads and the pattern the dorsal is very dark as you can see quite quite a dark quite a dark snake here there is a bit of blushing however it's not much not much blushing it's pretty pretty dark for the amount of pattern that the body has the head doesn't have a whole lot and one thing I've noticed with clowns in particular is they have this kind of like deep blue this like sea green eye almost always oh check out the neck pattern too that's pretty sweet but again on the down here on the tail especially the way all these alien heads are connecting together this is really the look that I really enjoy with clown you get the blushing and the teardrops there. Just uh, really happy how, how this clown turned out. Look at all these alien heads running together right here. Just a pretty, pretty phenomenal example of clown, in my opinion. Just the, that high pattern is what I really like to see. Get a little shot of the belly there. It's all bellied out. Straight belly. Belly clown. There he is. He's beauty. That's the only normal clown in the clutch. The rest of them are combos. All right, here we go. This is the only straight pastel clown in the clutch, and this is another boy. Check him out. Very heavy black shading around those alien heads, which is could also be looked at as very high blushing through the dorsal. You know, it's the blushing that results in the black shading around the alien heads. Something I've been looking at a lot recently is how these different parts of the pattern really affect the other parts of the pattern. You know, you get that, again, that high contrasting black around the alien heads because of the extreme blushing that's happening throughout the dorsal. And you got that classic pastel clown head, very, very busy looking face. These pastel clowns have the, some of the most amazing facial markings. And this guy's are quite symmetrical, extremely symmetrical. Extreme symmetry. And then that, that heavy contrasted alien head looking stuff on the side, that, that's just, that's why I love clown, man. This is, this is what I love about clown. This is just what clown offers to a combo is this really cool extreme pattern. Pretty darn sweet, if you ask me. Look at it, look at it, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, oh, flick that tongue. Oh, flick it again. Oh, yes. All right, pastel clown. I'll pull this dude back out when we look at the firefly clown female so you can see the difference between a pastel clown and then when you add fire. Here's a male fire clown. And you can see how fire just really brings out the orange in that head and also does this crazy wacky stuff with the head. This is the fire, fire head. So this is what mom was actually. And mom is still doing fantastic, by the way. Took her first meal since having the operation and, uh, and looking good. And fire clown, these fire clowns just look fantastic, man. They, they just, again, this this heavy pattern clown action coming through. Look at the noise going on there inside these teardrops. This is this is what, what I like to call teardrops. This is what a lot of people call teardrops. These little spots in between the alien heads where they don't connect down to the body, causing that little teardrop effect. Very, very cool looking snake this guy is. And, it, and this stuff right here where these alien heads pop up and kind of come around like this and you got these flames coming up in between. This is just, this is just the look that I really love with ball pythons. It's just my favorite, my favorite thing about their pattern is, is when that kind of stuff is happening right there. That's why I love clown so much. I mean, it's no, it's no secret that clown is my favorite morph and this is, this is kind of why. I haven't really been doing belly shots in the other ones. I apologize for that, but there's the belly on this guy. It's got that that cleanliness down the middle, but busyness up on the sides of the belly. Just, just gorgeous. And this is the Wilbanks line of fire too, so it's like 
one of the best lines of fire out there in my opinion probably the best line of fire that's a strong opinion i'm sticking with it i'm not being biased because it's here at my place i i wouldn't say that about some of the other stuff it's just the fire girl time so this is a fire clown female every every time i say fire clown female it reminds me of the first video, one of the first YouTube videos I made where I'd slow down, I'd say fire clown female, then put it in slow mode to be like fire clown female. And it just takes me back to those first videos. So again, just a lot of consistency here in this clutch with these, these alien heads that run together like that and create all these little faces. Look at that, look at that little, uh, that little ghost face right there. It looks like it's about to get eaten by Pac-Man or something. And just, yeah, all this, this whole section just running together like that and creating one jumbled mix of a pattern and then you got the separated alien heads this one has a lot of the alien heads running together a lot very beautiful pattern on this girl and of course that orange fire clown head mm. 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 man it's making me hungry for some reason i don't know what that's all about don't worry girl. i'm not gonna eat you i promise i'm not gonna eat you get that belly Belly, 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 belly. Mm. It's highly likely that this girl isn't going anywhere. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And here we have the Firefly Clown. Female. Firefly. So the pastel, you know, those yellows are coming out much stronger with the enhancement of the fire added. And let me let me show you next to that pastel clown boy, like I was mentioning. You can kind of see the difference. The past, the yellows are darker on the pastel where they're lighter on the firefly you got a lot you've got a lot of the blushing is much heavier throughout the dorsal pattern on the firefly than it is on the pastel and then that that head step of course is much much cleaner you got that look at that it's like a mercedes symbol or something very cool and uh compared to this boy's head which is busier the firefly has a much cleaner head and, but they're both very beautiful heads. Again, very, very symmetrical on the Firefly as well. Oh man, look at that. That's freaking sweet, dude. Oh my gosh. I love good lighting and good cameras and good snakes. That's a hell of a combo. Mm. There's that side alien head pattern. Again, all these alien heads running together to make this big conglomerate of thing. It's just something that's sticking throughout this clutch. Although when you see the pastel and she clowns, you'll see that it's much different. You don't have all this, uh, as much pattern on the sides like this does, but look at that blushing on top. That, that firefly clown blushing is just gorgeous. And I'm willing to admit that maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. I really don't think I am. Extremely clean on the belly. Just a bit of that side pattern coming up. Just a gorgeous snake, man. Gosh, I think I think at some point I'm just gonna make get to a point where I produce nothing but but clown combos. I don't see that being a bad thing for myself. Look at her. Just amazing. Last but absolutely not least is this pastel Enchi clown. Female. You get that classic classic, I say classic, it's not like these combos have been made forever. That look that look though, that that head stamp. I think most pastel and she clowns to have that 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 same type of head stamp right there with this little I don't I don't know what you want to call it, but it's something. Another very symmetrical head stamp, something that I find is a thing of beauty in most things of nature. When you got that symmetry, it's just it just tends to be beautiful. Nice blushing and the dorsal pattern. And you'll notice the difference here with the Enshi is that there are absolutely no eyes in the alien heads. It's just completely clean on the sides. Zero keyholes or eyes or whatever you want to call them. Woo, hi there. There's that belly shown by choice. That funny little vent pattern that <laughs> happens on a lot of them. Very clean across the dorsal. Very, very clean, very clean, very clean, very clean. Pastel and she clown female. And I believe that other one that hasn't shed out yet is also this same pastel and she clown female, although they're different because they're hundred percent the same difference. She may be an Enchi Firefly. I'm gonna wait for her to sh 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 pass out, pass out, pass out, pass out time. It's pass out time. I, I think we're done here. I think these, I, I can't, I can't anymore. I can't, I can't, we're done. You guys have yourselves a great day. Hope you enjoyed it. See you tomorrow. And so I, I go, I, I go outside. 
I walk downstairs and I'm like, I'm just gonna get out of here. Like they cut the power to the house, like I gotta get out of here. I go down to the truck and then there's like these illegal aliens 